In this video, we're diving into the top edX courses that you can use to advance your career. As a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored and I'm sharing my own opinion after researching all of these programs. As we get into this video, join me in the comments down below. What area do you want to grow your career this year? And which course from edX looks the most appealing to you? Now first, let's talk about what exactly is edX and why I think it's a great platform to invest into your education. edX is an online platform that was founded by folks from MIT and Harvard. edX features courses and certifications from the top Ivy League universities like Harvard and Wharton, which honestly can be extremely helpful to level up your resume and give you that brand booster at a very low cost. Think of it like finally getting that nice luxury watch like a Rolex, or even your dream car like a BMW or a Mercedes Benz, but at a much more affordable price. Now keep in mind that education from an Ivy League university costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. And for a fraction of that cost, guess what? We can have that certification in business, data analytics, and leadership. So if you're willing to invest into yourself and grow your career, you can stand out in today's hugely competitive job market, and I'll show you everything inside of my computer. So with that said, let me walk you through the top edX courses that I've researched from these categories. First one is business and leadership. Then we have product management, data science, computer science, and then of course, cybersecurity. Make sure you check out all the links to everything that I'm sharing in the description bar down below. As we get into this, I encourage you to dive deeper and research all the links so you can make an informed decision about which certification from which university makes the most sense for you to pursue in the next year to grow and advance your career. Now let's go ahead and let's dive into the first category for business and leadership. This first edX certification that I found is from the top Ivy League university called Harvard. And this one specifically is for a professional certificate in leadership and communication. This one is a self-paced program. And if you study for three hours a week, then you could finish it in less than three months, which actually is pretty fast, as long as you put in the work and the effort. From looking at their introduction here, this program teaches you how to build better relationships, right? Be a better leader and a more effective communicator, especially as someone who has to present in front of a large audience, be more persuasive, speak in person, and create presentations in front of an audience. So to your team or even to a group of senior leadership. Inside this program overview tab, it states here that you'll learn how to improve your leadership communication style, improve decision making, and develop as a leader in this two course series. So we have the first course, which is called Exercising Leadership Foundational Principles. When we open up this in a separate tab, we can see that more than 600,000 people have already enrolled in this course, and it has a score of 4.7 stars pretty good, right? So you can tell that there's actually a lot of interest and a ton of value in this Harvard certification. This course specifically covers many of the foundational principles in leadership. So learning how to deal with um, unbounding and identifying complex challenges, right? Leading with, beyond, and without authority, learning how to take action using your formal and informal authority, leveraging the perspective of stakeholders, and building the trust and knowing how to navigate conflict. Now, the second course, that one is called Rhetoric, the Art of Persuasive Writing and Public Speaking. In our separate tab here, we can see that this course itself has had more than 750,000 students already enroll with a rating of 4.6 stars. As we scroll down, there's a quick overview here, and it says that you're going to learn how to convey convincing arguments or messages to whomever you're speaking, which is a very important skill to have when you're a business leader. You'll learn by analyzing selected speeches from prominent 20th century Americans, such as Martin Luther King Jr., John F. Kennedy, Margaret Chase Smith, 
Ronald Reagan and more. And that's going to teach you how to analyze their style and their rhetorical structure. Success always leaves clues. And you're going to learn how to be a better communicator from the top leaders who have had success in their field. Now, going back to our previous tab, what's great about this certificate is it's extremely affordable. About $376. So not only are you getting Harvard's prestigious uh, brand on your resume and your career, but you're also learning insights with how to be a better communicator and a leader. By the way, if you're gaining value out of this video, be sure to smash that like button to show me your support because it inspires me to keep creating high quality content just like this one. The second edX certification is a professional certificate in strategic management from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, which actually is one of the most prestigious business schools in the country. This program is self-paced, which means that you can finish it over the next five months. And at the time of this recording, this is actually a little over $500, which is a pretty good investment for your career, given how prestigious this university is. And so this certification teaches you a lot of skills that are related to business strategy. For example, knowing how to define what your competitive advantage is for your business, optimizing interactions with your customers, defining customer segments, and driving increased profit margins. So right here, you can see that there's three areas to this certification. We have the first one, business strategy from Wharton competitive advantage. The second one, introduction to connected strategy. And lastly, a strategic management capstone. The first course teaches you how to develop a strategy to make your company stand out from the competition. Here's what we have inside. In each module, what you're going to be doing is you're going to learn how to analyze your internal strategy and then your external fit and what your company's value proposition is, maintaining your company's dynamic fit with the market and developing new strategies to keep your business growing. The second course is more focused on connected strategy, looking at different case studies. So if we go down here, we can see that there's actually one related to Disney and how that relates to the overall customer journey. And just from the syllabus alone, we can see that you get a look at the revenue model and different strategies to be a disruptor to the market. And going back to a previous tab, the last course is the capstone project where you apply what you've learned and you apply this business analysis to an organization. The third edX certification that I found is actually called Professional Certificate in Leadership Essentials from the Rochester Institute of Technology. This one is focused on building your foundation across three courses as a leader. You have critical thinking and problem solving, business communication, and teamwork and collaboration. If we open up the program overview section, we see here that this certification is really meant for up and new coming managers to learn how to be an effective leader, especially if you're leading a team of people and they have to report directly up to you. So if you're an up and coming manager or you're a soon to be manager, this could be a useful certification to help you drive critical thinking skills with your team, build more effective relationships with the people around you, and also motivate those who report directly up to you. And all this certificate costs a little over $500 and the value is definitely in there because it not only gives you the brand from Rochester Institute of Technology, but it also helps you boost up your resume if you envision yourself becoming a manager in the future. Now, from my own research, there is another edX certification I recommend if you're planning to become a new manager, and that one is called the Professional Certificate in the New Manager's Toolkit from Indiana University. It is priced relatively the same as a previous course at a little over $500 at the time of this recording. From the program overview part, it states, this three course program provides those new to management roles with the skills and tools to become exceptional as a manager of people. So you'll learn how to be an effective manager and handle the most common challenges, including establishing credibility and trust with your team members, running productive meetings, dealing with rule breakers and stars, giving constructive feedback, building culture, and evaluating performance. What's also unique about this program is that it also includes very real life scenarios. So right here, 
uh, participants get a Leverage course with a set of tools that they can transfer directly in their day-to-day -day management context. So again, this is something to consider if you're looking for certification to level up your skills if you want to be a manager in the next few years. In terms of the curriculum, we have three courses, Becoming a People Manager, Effective Management and Communication, and lastly, Developing Your Personal Leadership Style. So as you can see, a lot of valuable material that can help level up your skills in the next three to five years. Now, the next certification that you can take is by the University of Maryland and is for the professional certificate in program management and the art of communication. So if you have any aspirations to level up from a project manager and become a program manager, this one certificate can be one to help you level up your skill set and be best positioned for a program manager type role. The first course is Effective Communication for Program and Project Stakeholders, and it teaches you the fundamentals to communicate to different stakeholders at different levels. The second course is called Persuasion and Presence for Program and Project Managers. As a project manager myself, I can firmly attest to the fact that we need to be persuasive regardless of where we are at and whoever we're talking to. Um, so this course, it teaches us how to move from using logic to actually using emotions to persuade others around us. Now, the third course is managing conflicts on projects with cultural and emotional intelligence. As you know, conflict resolution and emotional intelligence is incredibly important since we'll be working with a huge variety of people from different backgrounds and perspectives. Now, the fourth course is designing project information hubs for program and project performance. This will be helpful when you're trying to steer across roadblocks and still drive your team to success. And the last course is one that helps us become better storytellers. I mean, how many times have you had to tell stories about how your project is doing to your boss, to leaders, and to your team? Well, this one helps us be a better leader so we can lead other leaders. So the other thing that I want to mention about this certificate is that it also allows you to earn up to 50 PDUs that you can use to renew your PMP or other professional certificate. As it says here, this certificate program is not just a theory. It also gives the working project manager aspiring to program management practical tips and tools to help them improve their most important skill, which is communication. So again, this is a very valuable certification if you're looking to pursue roles in program management and you need to level up in using communication. Now let's talk about our next category of certifications related to product management. We have our next certification, which is the professional certificate in product management from the University of Maryland. And this one can take about five months to complete, but it actually covers quite a lot of course material. So we have product management fundamentals, right? Learning how to achieve product market fit, designing, prototyping, and testing of your actual product, some of the core concepts to deliver your product faster using methods from Agile, DevOps, and data science. And lastly, how to embrace being a modern product leader and still develop and deliver your products to the customer. So this can be a very helpful certification if you've ever thought about transitioning careers and becoming a product manager. Similar to the previous certification, this course costs around $1,000 at the time of this recording. Now, of course, there's a lot to learn to get in the fundamentals in developing and launching a product from start to finish, right? From discovery to delivery. And from looking at the program overview, there's a lot that you're going to be teached, right? So ensuring that you're strategizing the product market fit, understanding the market, and evaluating your target customers. As we move on to our next category of certifications that I recommend from edX, don't forget to smash that like button to show me your support. Now our next category is for data science. The first is a professional certificate in data science from the most prestigious Ivy League university out there, which is Harvard University. This program covers a lot of material, specifically with all of the basics tied to data science. So everything related to using R, probability and visualizing your data, using statistics to analyze everything, um, knowing how to create reports, such as, you know, with GitHub, Unix, Linux, and RStudio, and other concepts such as data wrangling, 
linear regression, and machine learning. And what's also really cool is that at the end of this certification is that you have a final capstone project where you can use your skills to solve a real world problem. Now to give you a glimpse into how popular this is, if we open up the first course for R basics, what we're going to see is that this is actually really popular. Over 880,000 people have already enrolled into this and it has a rating of 4.4 stars, which is actually pretty good. So if you're interested in pursuing a career in data science or data analytics, this is a program that I recommend checking out. The certificate itself costs more than $1,000, but again, you're gaining the brand and the prestige from Harvard University. So something to really consider here. Now, the next certificate program is also offered by Harvard University, and it's called Learning Python for Data Science. So if you plan to primarily use Python as your software tool to analyze data, then this would be the other certificate program from Harvard to check out. All right, so let's dive into our next category for certificates in computer science. The first certificate that we have is also from Harvard and is called Computer Science for Web Programming. And it consists of two courses. We have CS50's Introduction to Computer Science, and then we have CS50's Web Programming with Python and JavaScript. Now from the program overview, you'll be learning a bunch of frameworks and principles that you can use. So learning how to use HTML and Python, that way you get a huge jumpstart to building your own web apps. It also looks like there will be hands-on projects so you can learn how to write and use APIs, create user interfaces, and leverage different cloud services like GitHub and Heroku. Now the second certificate is from Georgia Tech University and is focused specifically in Python programming. From looking at the program overview, this certificate teaches you all of the basics so you can be very proficient in Python programming. Looking at the curriculum, we have the first course, which is Fundamentals and Procedural Programming, which teaches you all of the basics, so everything from variables, operators, and writing and debugging your own programs. The next two courses teaches you everything you need to know about control structures, such as using conditionals, loops, and error handling and also how to manage data structures. So handling complex data like files, lists, and dictionaries for building complex projects. And the last course covers object-oriented programming in Python. So again, if you're a complete beginner to computer science with using Python, this would be a good certificate to pursue and still get that brand recognition and credibility from Georgia Tech University. The next category of certifications that can advance your career is related to cybersecurity. Our first certificate is the Professional Certificate in IBM Security Fundamentals. If you're planning to switch careers and pursue cybersecurity, this is a great certificate to take because it covers a lot of the basics. If you're looking to start your career, you'll also learn in this course, different roles and operating system security, compliance and system administration, and lastly, security that's related to network and databases. Now, let's say that you want a different program or certificate that's more aligned with preparing you to be a cybersecurity analyst. This is the certificate that's designed by the tech company called IBM. While this program might overlap on some of the previous areas as the other certificate, this one specifically includes a capstone project so you can simulate a real world security breach and practice using actual tools in a virtual lab to solve the problem. Now, because the certificate is more encompassing than the previous one, it does come at a higher price tag of a little more than $1,000. But honestly, if cybersecurity is a career path you're interested in pursuing, this price is well worth the ROI and investment that you're going to get. So I recommend dive deeper. Check out the links I'll put in the description bar down below so you can decide which one is the best for you, depending on where you're at in your career. Now, if you're interested in pursuing a career in project management, then watch this video next to find out the career roadmap of a project manager and what skills you need to learn. And I'll see you in the next video.